In these problems, we have some figures, uh, some triangles with certain parts that are made to be congruent. So uh, where you see the hash marks and the arcs in here, those are unchangeable. That side is going to be that length. That side is going to be that length. That angle is not going to change. The other parts that aren't marked, you can fiddle around with. So over on the right here where you see the blue part, you get to make this line longer or change the angle by rotating that line. Uh, and seeing whether you can make uh, one triangle that's exactly like the first one, or maybe you can make a different triangle. This is all about properties of triangle congruence. There are these rules that say if you have a certain number of sides or angles in the triangle that are congruent, it defines a triangle. And any other triangle with those same bits congruent would have to be congruent to that whole triangle. So your job here in Alex is just to fiddle around with this by trial and error and see what you can do. What you'll probably notice on this first one after trying for a relatively short time is the only way you can make a triangle is by drawing the line like that. And that's exactly the same as this one. What that means is if you have a side and then an angle and then a side, you know, in that order with the angle sandwiched in between the two sides that are congruent, then the triangles must be congruent. And that is a property of congruence called the side angle side uh, congruence property. So these uh, triangles must be congruent if they've got these things congruent. And it's the side angle side property. Let's take a look at a second one and see if we can fiddle around with that. Um, let me grab the line tool again in case we need that. So let's see here. This length is going to be the same. This length is going to be the same. This angle is fixed, but this angle and this angle are not fixed. And this side is not fixed. So I suppose I could just swing this in and stretch this out until they meet. And I think, yeah, I think you can make a triangle there that's not congruent to the first one. It'll look something like that. So what that's telling us is that if you have a, a two sides and an angle, but the angle's not in between them, then that doesn't work. It's not going to make the triangles necessarily congruent. So what we would do here is just check the two triangles do not have to be congruent. So that's a little bit of work with how to uh, play with this um, construction of triangles to explore triangle congruence.